Peace and love you beautiful wonders of a spiritual level of being. Nathan here from a spiritual level of being and you have a spiritual level of being. And today we'll be discussing the significance of 3, 6 and 9. Now Nikola Tesla once said that if you knew the magnificence of 3, 6 and 9, you would have a key to the universe. Now Nikola Tesla was a famous engineer, electrical engineer, mechanical engineer, an inventor and a futurist, which is someone who explores the possibilities and predictions of the future rooted and affected in our past and present. Now, almost everything in nature is highly symmetrical and follows a geometrical pattern, as we can see this in nature, and the form of the golden ratio and Fibonacci sequence, which is present in many forms of nature, seashells, flowers, for instance. Now, the mathematical symbol you see with Nikola Tesla is the golden ratio. This represents the numbers three, six, and nine. No matter how many times you add these numbers up, they'll be present here in these mathematical equations. So the circle represents infinity. Certain religious symbols, such as a sun cross, represents the 90 degree angles. So again, with the number nine, a semicircle makes an angle of 180 degrees in the center, which is nine. So triangle and polygons, which is 180 degrees on interior angles. So one plus eight plus zero equals nine. So when we add the diameter of the moon, which is 2,160 miles, this is 2 plus 1 plus 6 plus 0 equals 9. The diameter of the Earth, which is 7,920 miles, so 7 plus 9 plus 2 plus 0 equals 18, so 1 plus 8 equals 9. The diameter of the Sun, which is 864,000 miles, so 8 plus 6 plus 4 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0, this equals 18, so 1 plus 8 equals 9. So the speed of light, which is 186, so 1,862,822 miles per second, which is 1 plus 8 plus 6 plus 2 plus 8 plus 2, which is 27, so 2 plus 7 equals 9. So even in time, which is 3,600 seconds per hour, so this is 3 plus 6 plus 0 plus 0 equals 9. So we see mathematics here. So this is the esoteric knowledge, if you will, of mathematics. So the answers of the universe. Now the OM, which looks like a 369, this is also because of if the OM is done correctly during meditation or chance, if you will, it's in the same frequency as the universe. Now this is interesting because the Egyptians, some believed that the world was sung into existence. Others believed that the world was ejaculated into existence. The indigenous Australians, the Aboriginals, believed that there were three sacred songs that brought the world into existence. Judaism and Christianity believed that it was God's word that brought the world into creation. Now, the idea of six aspects of the all-seeing eye of Horus goes in with the six days of creation, God resting on the seventh day, the six aspects of Om, all this is still the mathematics, again, with the three, six, and nine, three representing the direct source of the universe, being a sacred number in Christianity, in Hinduism, and, if you will, pagan beliefs. So this idea of mathematics was even a source of secret language, of communication, as wise men and philosophers, the Gnostics even, which were mostly wise men and women of philosophers and artists and astrologers, would meet up in secret and discuss philosophy and maths. So you see, when people understand symbolism, they understand a great deal more, as this is also mathematics with the language, esoteric knowledge, alchemy. So... Everything in existence is mathematical, as you are a mathematical living mind. So peace and love, everyone. I love you all. Connect to one minus all. Namaste.